Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to another career mode experiment. So in this experiment, we are seeing what Ventus could do without Bonucci, Chiellini, and Barzagli, the big back three that's dominated Europe and led Juve to the Champions League final. So obviously in real life, they have potential to win the treble, but it is very interesting to see how losing those three, how they could affect the defense. They do have some solid uh, youngsters who I feel like will step in and replace them. However, they will lose some quality, so there is a potential for more goals conceded, and given the point of the experiment is to see how they can do without the three main center backs, we are still going to play a three at the back just to really test this and see if. Uh, they're good enough without those three. But yeah, in a minute I will show you the squad. See you there. So this is the team that we are running with. So it's 3-1-4-2. So Buffon in the back, Mehdi Benashia, Rugani and Alexandro in the back line. Then Sami Kadira in CDM, Mario Mazzucchi on the left, Pjanic left center midfield, Marquisio, right center midfield. Quadrado, the newly transferred Juventus player. Chelsea finally got some money for him, so that's good to see. Then Paolo Dybala up top alongside the clinical in league competitions Gonzalo Higuain. On the bench, Dani Alves, Licksteiner, and Asamoah are probably the main three players mentioning. But the depth is a little concerning without those three considering what to do with Benashia, but I'll keep him because he is technically part of the squad. So yeah, we're just going to go and we will simulate to January, see how they're doing, check out their stats there. We're going to January, I will see you guys there. So now, we're in to January, so at the moment we are currently 6th in the league, 24 points, 8 off the top against Lazio who are on fantastic form. Supercopa, Milan won on penalties in the Copa Nazionale. Still waiting for the results there. The Champions League. Did we make it out of the group? We finished bottom of the group. My goodness gracious me. Juventus are gonna finish the bo bottom. They're finishing bottom. Wow. Juventus have no chance of progressing through. That is a uh, pretty incredible. Um, doesn't look too good without uh, the main center backs. Yeah. So either way, Buffon only three clean sheets in 17 games. Sandro has been decent in the defense, three goals. Rugani had a knee, in a knee injury, so he's been away for a while, but got into 12 games. Medi Benastia. Uh, four clean sheets in 14 appearances. Sami Kadira on poor form, only one assist. Juan Quadrado has a lateral clitoral ligament injury, so he's still injured for a little while. Marquisio, decent enough. Pjanic, four goals, four assists, probably one of our better players. Mandzukic, a goal in 11 games. Dybala, eight goals and three assists in 20 games. Pretty solid. Higuain, 6 goals and 5 assists. That's also pretty solid. Piaka has played 2 games. Matillo only played 5. Lamina, not too great. Neto, barely played and did poorly when he did. Dani Alves got in 12 games and no clean sheets. Okay then. Asamoa, yet again, barely has played. Licksteiner, 3 clean sheets in 11 games. Moise Keane's got in 3 games. Matias Pereira hasn't played. Adiero, nope. Mandragora. Mandragora, that sounds like a plant. Wow, four clean sheets in 19 games. I mean, he's he's not terrible, I guess. Suraro, you'd rather him be playing more, but only one clean sheet in six games. Rincon's barely played. De Segli, who? Pincilio, okay. Pasquato, probably not going to get into the team. Marone, Decent enough. Zaza. I think we're going to bring Zaza back to the lineup. See how we can do uh, with them. Spizanola. Hasn't been terrible. 
couple lower rated players. Mame Tiam. And Matia Caldera is actually a Juventus player? Oh. Welp, I think I'll bring back Matia Caldera also. We really need the depth. And uh, in terms of the lineup changes, I will have to temporarily bring out Rugani for Caldara. Zaza is going to go in and replace Matiello. And Mateus Pereira is just going to act as a bit of a bench player. Yep, that's going to be it. So, going to simulate to June, see how we can do. Are there any improvements, or is the Juventus just genuinely awful without all their defense? Yep, I will see you guys in June. So now we are in to June, and it's been a disappointing season for Juventus. So in the league, they've finished in 5th. 64 points. Lazio was the league leader. 74 points. Won the title. Genoa, shockingly, with 72 points. The Supercopa, like said before, Milan won. In the Copa Nazionale, Juventus managed to get a trophy there. Obviously, in the Champions League. Didn't even make it to the round of 16. In the... Europa League, Borussia Dortmund won it there. And, yeah, it's been quite the disappointing season for Juventus. So, you can see they're sort of struggling. So, Matija Caldara seems to be in there a lot of the time. So, let's take a look at the squad report. So, Buffon, 7 clean sheets in 35 games. Sandro, 7 goals and 1 assist. What a season for him. Only seven clean sheets, though. Caldara did decent enough once he got in. Benascia, ten clean sheets, 36 experiences. That isn't very good, Juventus. Sami Kadira seems like he's dropped a rating, but form has been poor either way. Quadrado, sh uh, shockingly only played 15 games all season, but it does make sense given his injuries. Marquisio, gone to a lot of games, but like, yet again, our defense is just... Four. Pjanic, 10 goals, 8 assists, half a minute solid. Mandzukic, 7 goals, not bad there. Dybala, 16 goals and 5 assists in 50 games. Gonzalo Higuain, I kind of slowed down. 7 goals and 9 assists in the end. Lamina got into a lot of games. And 6 goals, 5 assists, 6 clean sheets, that's almost as much as Higuain, that's a little scary. Zaza, 6 appearances. Neto... Two clean sheets in nine games. Alves played 22 games and zero clean sheets. Pjaka, meh. Asamoa, three clean sheets in 20 games. Our defense is awful. Eight clean sheets in 31 games. Moise King got into four games. Mateus Pereira didn't play a single game. Aduero, nope. Mandragora, my goodness. He played so much. Eight clean sheets. Not bad. Matiello only got into seven games. Rugani, 8 clean sheets, 37 games. Stefano Struraro, 21 appearances in Calcio A. Only 4 clean sheets. Rincon, uh, still by too much, 3 clean sheets. De Sigli, somehow got into 2 games. Pinsogioli, barely played. And a couple of low knees now. Spinazzola, not terrible from him. Any other low knees worth taking a look at? Mame Tiam, four goals, three assists. And that is it. Yep, that's it. That's going to be the end of this experiment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment. And hope you guys enjoyed the FIFA 17 career mode experiment. If you guys are into this sort of content, then feel free to subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace!